inventory methods. We're doing perpetual, remember? And we're now going to do LIFO, which says the last units to come in are the first units sold. So let's see how that changes the mix. We started off with beginning inventory, and when we bought beginning inventory, we have four units. I don't need to buy beginning inventory. When did we have beginning inventory? That's from last period. So this is what's sitting on our shelves the first day of the month or the first day of the period. So we've got four units that cost us a dollar a piece. Now these four units have price tags on them of what? Five dollars. Now, it says that we sold on the seventh three units. Well, the last units to come in are the first units sold. So did we sell three at a dollar? We sure did. So how many entries are there when we have a sale under perpetual? There's two. The first entry is what? Debit accounts receivable or cash, credit sales for three times five dollars or fifteen dollars. And the second entry is what? Debit and account called cost of goods sold and credit inventory for the cost. Well, what did it cost? Three dollars. So I'll debit cost of goods sold three dollars. I'll credit inventory three dollars. So what's left in inventory? One unit at a dollar. We then go shopping and we buy five units at two dollars. Now under perpetual, do we have a purchases account? Oh no. What do we use instead? Just inventory. So when we went shopping and bought five units at two dollars, notice I'll debit inventory ten dollars and credit accounts payable or cash ten dollars. So now in inventory, I've got two layers, one unit at a dollar and five units at two dollars. Now, on the 21st, what happens next is we sold four units. Now, if I'm under LIFO, the last units to come in are the first units sold. So these four units that I sold come from the two dollar layer. So when I sold them, notice I'm going to be debiting accounts receivable or cash, crediting sales for four times the price tag of $5 or $20. And second, I'm going to debit cost of goods sold for $8 and credit inventory $8 for their cost. So what's left in inventory now? Well, I've got one unit at a dollar and I've got one unit at two dollars. Then, at the end of the month, notice I go out and I buy six units at three dollars. When I buy those six units at three dollars, I make the entry, what? Debit inventory, credit cash or accounts payable for eighteen dollars. And now, we have, until the next purchase or the next sale, three layers in our inventory. We have one unit at a dollar, we have one unit at two dollars, and we have six units at three dollars. Now, the, and that's the ending inventory for the period, and we'll stay there until we make our next sale. And where will that sale come from? The last in, won't it?